A couple of hours power was restored for some businesses in the lower garden district. Still being out for a couple of days cost many thousands of dollars. Chris Joseph is live in lower garden district to explain. Yeah, just before a four o'clock live shot on this very story, the power came back on. And while the ownership of some of these businesses are obviously very happy with that, the damage, as you touched on, has already been done. Try as they might, the staff at the Half Moon restaurant and bar couldn't get a generator running when we found them Friday. Entergy hadn't restored their power, which left them scrambling to get their fridges running to save what food they can. Even if the generator was working, it wouldn't have turned on the lights or anything else, leaving the business closed. Losing the money and then like the future of my business, I just a few months ago I opened it and then it's happening. You won't have to close, will you? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Manager Susan Actoniz says the outage is costing her business thousands of dollars. She expressed frustration with the speed of the energy restoration. Shame on them. Like just on the dead block we don't have. And then four, five business right now here, they don't have like nothing. They losing the, their stuff to their money to. One of those businesses is the nearby Le Marais Boutique. Owner Mariah Bensick says the outage disrupted an event at her store. We small business, we really are, we like to think, the fabric of this community and the heartbeat of the community. And we keep the economy and the community running. Even in these dark times, you know, we do what we can. Uh, we all have families, you know, we, we, we're not, this is not all that we do. So when we really break our backs to come here and work and contribute to this city. We really just expect to have power. That's all. We just expect a little in return, a little reciprocation and some care um, about us. A spokesperson for Energy stressed that the utility understands the frustrations and that crews are working to fix the problem as quickly and as safely as possible. Now, of course, those interviews were shot before the power return, but we we're talking about that event at the boutique. Well, this is the boutique right next to me. In fact, you can see them moving back and forth. They're going to be bringing gear in, and that event is back on. So some good news here in the Lower Garden District. Reporting in New Orleans, Chris Joseph, Fox 8, Local First.